are again in Montana de Oro and we're at the uh, Spooner Ranch where all these cool cypress are growing. Uh, indigenous to Monterey, of course, named Monterey Cypress. And, uh, and I think it goes down this far, but I know they transplanted the heck out of it. Anyway, uh, Dave and I are going to go do this loop that goes around from Spooner's Cove <clears throat> up to Oats Peak on the main trail. I say that because there are dozens of trails up here. It's awesome. And so all these opportunities to, to change your hike. We got mountain biking guys. The coast. Big Sur area anymore with those hiking trails. We've had to explore these and these are nice trails. These are great. I'm so surprised. So anyway, we're up here and we're going to go to Oats Peak and then we're going to come back down Coons Creek, which is another two and a half, and then I think one and a half up to Oats Peak, so four. And then there's about a three mile hike you have to do from Coons Creek to get right back here where we're standing. And there are, once again, half a dozen at least trails coming from over there near Coon Creek. house and we're gonna take this Oats Peaks trail all the way up like this. Oh that's a windy son of a gun. And uh, do this part up up to Oats Peak and then down this way to Coon Creek Trail and back along Coon Creek and then we're gonna do Rattlesnake Flats mm -hmm. and come back in like this. There's a little access road here that'll be the key. This is how we and right then here. we can we're gonna come back and hit the bottom of the BB trail or are we gonna No, I think we're gonna stay on Rattlesnake uh -huh. and come back in we'll, and excellent uh, and right like that. Because yeah. if we do the badger yeah, trail more, we're uphill to the sixteen back, you know. See a little flock of quail there? Yes. They're fat. Look at that. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good time for animals like that because there's lots of things. Look at how big there's he lots is. Lots of insects and all the little. Here we are at the intersection of the BB Trail, which we showed in a different hike, I think, a, a two weeks ago. It goes up and intersects the Valencia Peak Trail. Not far from here at all, three quarters of a mile maybe. And then you go on up the face of Valencia. That's one way to do it. Another way is to go up here and we'll show this other uh, I think the correct terminology is a connector. Is that correct? Yes, connector is a good word. And uh, so this is what we're doing here. Fun. We've been saying 5.5. 5. 5. Yes. So this 6.1, so we've, we're getting an extra mile every time we do this.
Hey. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Awesome. BB Trail, Oats Peak, Spooner Ranch House 3. See, there's conflicting information right there. wild right up here on this point you get this you're in an ocean of gray I I just wanted to say that uh, whatever time this is, this fog is just now starting to burn off here on this little corner of the hike. There's heavy fog down below, it looks like still, but here we are. Part of that is that we're climbing up out of it. We're climbing up out of it, I guess, yeah. We are getting a little elevation here. little hill over here is where we ha were following uh, uh, what appeared to be a bunch of either mating or just kind of cruising around by some real big hawks a few weeks ago and we don't see them here today at this point but um, maybe they have mated and they're tending their nests.
Dave and I are looking at a, uh, we're, here's the first big bump of the Oats Peak duet. But down here you see a little cut that goes down to this tree, uh, kind of hidey hole thing there. And then comes back up and we're just, you know, you can't help but wonder where these cuts come from. And in this case here, where does this one go? I don't see a, um, an, uh, a beginning. Well, here it is. When you get to that tree, uh -huh. it comes back, zigs back towards us. Oh, below there, yeah. huh? See it? Oh, is that old? Or... peak there but what I wanted to do was to get a picture from up here that I've never done of this part of the trail that takes you down to Coon Creek which is running kind of behind Oats Peak there and it runs along the spine of that that big spur over there. See zigzags right there on the goes down and then you see All right, here we are. Oats Peak. Message to cyclists. No bikes beyond that point. About uh, how you know we've been out here uh, uh, dozens and dozens of times, but only in the last four or five times we've been out here have we rediscovered it or kind of gotten to know it. Was gotten what you were it, saying. started to explore some of these other trails that we've seldom looked at, or if all, if at all, mm -hmm. understand the whole terrain, and we're looking at a difference. It's not just about mushrooms and and such, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's quite a delightful place. <laughs> saying there was three basic dives to do on the jetty. Um, one was to uh, kayak or swim out from the uh, little sand spit inside the bay, swim out to the end of the breakwater and then dive around the point and down a little bit, turn around and come back in. The second way would be on a calm, calm, calm day, you could walk over the jetty straight on from the parking area there and go in there and swim down and around the other way, which is really cool. And then the other ways you could go out uh, through the um, uh, power plant discharge, jump in there and ride it out, and then go all the way around that rock. And every one of those was just crammed with just <clears throat> monster fish. Gigantic lingcod, cabazon with, with heads. Oh, we are leaving Oats Peak headed east-ish, probably northeast, right? Would would you say that? Or? Well, let me think. Um, I think that... Uh, this is north over here. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. So that's, you know... things Dave was talking about earlier. This is a, an entirely different habitat here. We're getting into the uh, what they call uh, dwarf oak forests. And this uh, will eventually turn into uh, coastal oaks and there's some and there's lots of them. And then of course the riparian trees. Here's more of uh, this new habitat of coastal dwarf oak. 
type of live oak is what it is. Coast, uh, yeah, is coastal it, oak. Is it a true subspecies or is it just what they're calling no, it I don't because know. it doesn't grow very strong here? I really don't know, but I know that there are many oak species around here, subspecies. Yeah. Remember when we talked about what poison oak is and I kept saying, even though there is nothing here right now, uh -huh. I guarantee it's all poison oak? Yes. <laughs> you can't just accidentally stumble on something like this. You have to. What I, what I mean by that is, you do stumble on it when you're down here, but you see it only because you've made the effort to get all the way out here. This is like the middle of the loop, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you just nailed it. You don't get this by sitting at home, you don't get this sitting on the deck. We're probably a little over halfway down from Oats Peak to Coon Creek. This this little forest is, is unbelievable. It's so pretty. So this is always a real nice part of the hike. And then we get into some bigger oaks down below in the lower part of this trail. bottom of the uh, Oats Peak to Coon Creek Trail. We're right, this is a little tributary to Coon Creek, I guess. Yeah. And then over here we've got this other habitat, which is big coastal live oaks. And uh, majestic and beautiful, incredible looking things. So this is awesome, this next habitat. And, and then these will give out to a kind of a close riparian. We just stopped at the, I don't know, the, the exotic oak that is halfway back out to Coon Creek and we'll be coming up on the rattlesnake uh, trail up, up ahead here. So we got at least about an hour and a half hike on this rattlesnake trail. And it's saying 3.2 and I don't know what that is too.
off from the Coon Creek Trailhead and we're headed way over there where that dirt road is. That's where we're going. Snake Trail. We're kind of coming back and touching the road to the, the asphalt road that takes you to Coon Creek Trailhead. So we'll kind of bump that and then go up a dirt road and around and make it back to the uh, parking lot. Still on the Rattlesnake Trail, headed back to camp, the Spooner's Cove. And uh, don't know exactly where we are, we're probably within a mile and a little bit. strenuous for me actually a little, a little bit out of shape but it's a it's a real hike it's about 14 miles I think in that zone it, it pencils out at roughly 13 and a half but uh, what the heck 